This video is recorded in 2023 as a job aid for the GISS workflow. It will cover how to create a master project and create a map layout from a template. Navigate to the Projects folder and open the Pro Project template. Save as to create a master project. This will be the operations project. Use the GeoOps file namer to name the master project. Scroll down to the Create Incident Maps and Digital Products section. Update the product type. The page size. And page orientation. Then copy and paste the file name and save it to the root of the projects folder. Rename the map view to indicate that this is the master operations map. Repair the links of the event layers in the contents pane to the master incident geodatabase. Add a base map or base data. I'll bring in the vector tile layer I downloaded during the data preparation steps of the workflow. And I'll change the layer blend mode on that vector tile layer to multiply so that it will blend with other base data nicely. I'll also add a hill shade from an Esri base map. and zoom to my data. Operations may want to see the terrain within the fire perimeter, so I'll also set the layer blend mode to multiply on the event polygon. Alternatively, you could increase the transparency on the layer. I have instructions that operations needs an Arch E landscape layout. To create the layout, navigate to the catalog pane and expand the layouts folder. These are layout templates that contain all the required standal and SGD map elements at various sizes. Land means landscape orientation and port means portrait orientation. The layouts that have the word sidebar on the end have all map elements off the map frame in the layout. These are preferred for multi-page maps made using a map series to ensure that no data or labels get covered up by map elements. The non-sidebar layouts have map elements on top of the map frame and can be used if preferred. You can either open a layout like I just did and start using it, or you can create a copy of the layout to preserve the template in case you mess up. I'll opt to do the latter and make a copy of the Arch E land sidebar layout. It's good practice to name the copy of the layout to include the type of map, size, and orientation. Right-click and select Open to use the layout. There are instructions on the left side of each layout that explain where all the dynamic text on the layout originates. The title and authorship comes from the map metadata. I'll expand the map frame, right-click the Operations Map View and select Edit Metadata. Update the title. and the author, click Apply, then close the metadata pane.
you can see the map title is now Operations. And down at the bottom, I'm shown as the author. If the dynamic text on the layout doesn't update automatically, refresh the layout using the Refresh button. Everything else in the title block comes from the dynamic text update table, which you can find by expanding the standalone table section in the contents pane. The incident name and unique fire ID were added in the data preparation steps of the workflow after gathering incident information. The date and operational period of use, source statement, acres, and effective date time fields were updated during the edit incident data steps of the workflow. If you forgot to update any of these fields in the dynamic text update table, best practice is to update these values in the edit project while all other projects are closed. Zoom to your data. Activate the map frame and if needed, adjust the scale and extent.